It's your boy Diddy Knows Ball, and I'm back with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Today, I want to talk about G League Ignite, and they had their first exhibition game against Perth. I think that's a, a NLB a Australia team, professional team. And uh, I watched this game because, number one, I said in all my videos, I'm a Dallas, Texas native, and I was tuning in to check out Ron Holland from Duncanville. Uh, I'm kind of upset he didn't go to Texas, but it's all good. It's all good. He's with the G League night. So I tuned in to watch him. Uh, Modest Buzelis, Alexander Saw, Izan Almanza. They are top prospects in the 2024 NBA draft. Uh, and I'm not going to lie. This is a weird this is a weird class to scout, bro, because there's no true guaranteed bona fide number one like we done had these past couple years. Even when they was trying to decide if it was Paolo, Chet, or Jabari. Most people that really knew basketball knew it was Paolo. But this is like one of those drafts where it's going to be, what do you need? And it's going to be a few guys that you can choose from depending on what you need. And uh, a lot of people got Matos Buzelis and Ron Holland as top three picks. They got Almanza as a borderline lottery. They got Saw as a lottery pick. So I tuned in to check them out. And this is poised to be the deepest G League at 19 we've seen. So I had to check them out. So first things first, man. That first quarter was terrible, bro. Ron Holland and Boozellis look scared, man. They let John Jenkins. John Jenkins had to bring them niggas back. They got uh Perth got out to a 9-0 uh start. It was up 9-0. And then slowly but surely, Ron Holland and Booz Ellis got into it. Um, I'm gonna talk about Ron Holland first. Ron Holland, bro. Uh people were saying what makes him such a high prospect. Why does the NBA want him? Say, man, dude's 6'8, bro. And he got one of the fastest first steps I've ever seen with the ball from a, a dude that that size. And he don't even got a supreme handle yet. I don't know if he'll ever get a supreme handle, but he don't got a supreme handle. And that boy first step is quick, man. Y'all, it, it's like the Jade, he's the Jaden Ivy of forwards, bro, with that first step. So I thought that was something that popped off the screen. It's very elite. I knew he was fast with the ball in his hands, but he's elite. He has elite speed with the ball in his hands, that first step. Uh, I feel like he started off bad. Uh, he was very sloppy with the ball. Uh, he probably was playing a little nervous. Um, he had a couple of jump shots that, that hit the side of the backboard, um, turnovers, fouls, but he definitely had the flashes. He had the step back three. He had the step back midi. Uh, he just was flashing pretty much everything in transition, off the catch, uh, attacking the rim, things of that nature. He was getting steals, very active. Uh, very a, a very good, confident player that plays with passion. That's what I've seen out of Ron Holland. That's what I've seen from him his whole career, man. He's been an elite prospect his whole career, and he started out as a traditional big. So he's catching up skill-wise to being a wing, tweener type of guy. So I really like what I've seen from Ron Holland. So if I had to grade his performance, I'd give bro a B plus. I'd give bro a B plus. Uh, Buzelis. Uh, let me talk about Modus Buzelis. Modus Buzelis to me, he's like a Danilo Gallinari type of player. He's about 6'8, six, 6'9. Six, uh, he can handle a little bit, he can shoot it, take it off the dribble. Got a midi game. He's essentially a three level scorer at 6'9, six, 6'10. Six, the thing about Modus Buzelis was he just like Ron Holland, he had a very slow start. Uh, he started getting it going in the second quarter and later on into the second half where he started flashing his uh, three-level scoring potential. Um, the thing, even the dude in the broadcast is bringing it up. Modest Buzelis has to be more aggressive as a scorer. Ron Holland's not as good as a scorer as Modest Buzelis is, but Ron Holland is aggressive when it comes to getting his, and we need to see more of that from Modest Buzelis. But overall, uh, he picked his spots. He was very efficient. Uh like he did all the right things. He didn't play bad, but I want more aggression out of him. I give him a B, a B plus as well. Uh, a guy from Perth 
that I was interested to watch. Uh, that's Alex Saw. Uh, he's a seven foot center, like he's a real big, but that dude is an athlete, bro. Like Saw, 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 athletic as hell, bro. Like I watched him in the U19s for France, and he just. I hate when they I hate when motherfuckers say this, but bro run like a gazelle. I think that's probably a little racist. I don't know if that's racist, but whatever. He run like a gazelle. Like a seven footer that can run like that is crazy. I, the, the most impressive thing about, about Saw was his jump shooting ability. He was two for three from three. He really could have been three for three. But that one three, it went in and out. So he went two for three from three, but he had one of them that went in and out. So the jumper looks real. Um, I, I'm gonna track that. Like over the course of his season, make sure he's shooting consistently. But if he can shoot that three and block shots and run the floor like that, man, because I'm projecting him to be very switchable on defense as well. I, I would like to see him be a better rebounder, but you know, I think that's gonna come. But Saw, he played very well. Um, he was blocking jump shots too. He not just blocking shots at the rim, that dude blocked jump shots as well. Uh, he he had some moments where he clamped Boozellis. He had some moments where Ron Holland ain't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? So I give Saw a A minus for his performance. Uh, yeah. Uh, another guy I tuned in for was Izan Almanza. They had him coming off the bench, but he really John Jenkins and, and Almanza really what got them back into the game early in the in the first quarter, first half. Because Almanza came into the game, he brought his energy, his rebounding. He has made some defensive plays, made some plays uh, scoring at the rim. Uh, he's a traditional big, but he's mobile enough to still be out there in pretty much any situation. I would like to see him with Buzelis, with Johnson, with uh, Ron Holland, all in that starting lineup together. But, you know, whatever, whatever. I would like to see those lineups. But I think uh, Almanza had a really good game. I give him a B. Uh, now, these are some guys that popped off the screen that I didn't know, and they both was on the Ignite, and that was Tyler Smith and Sani. Sani, I can't say his name, but Tyler Smith, he showed pick and pop potential. He's athletic, you know, he's in the right spots. Uh, Same, he just was doing everything. S A Sani, Sani. I'm sorry I'm butchering his name, but he was very impressive too. Uh, I feel like this is the deepest G League night team I've seen. Uh, it, I ain't even say nothing about London Johnson yet because I, he's still a wait and see, but he showed some 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 baby scootisms. Like he was hitting floaters and he started turning the ball over early, but he was hitting some floaters. He hit a couple of shots that was, you know, big time shots. But I want to see more from him, so I really don't got him as a guy that popped off the screen, but I think he has room to grow. I don't know if he'll even be a first-round pick, but uh, he got room to grow. I think possibly Sonny and Tyler Smith, uh, Buzelis, Holland, Saw, Almanza, they all could sneak into the first round, but I really like what I've seen for the night. I think this is the deepest uh, Ignite team that they've ever put together. They don't have a super-duper star. Maybe Highland or Boozellis could turn into that. If I had to put my money on somebody, it will be uh, Boozellis just because he's an elite shot maker. He just got to have more confidence like the dude in the broadcast was saying. Like we've been saying this, Boozellis just got to be more aggressive. Uh, I think Highland, just over the course of time, he has the most potential because that first step, that is elite. He has an elite skill. Ron Highland is an elite first step. I think Boozellis is an elite shot maker when he want to be. But all in all, man, this was a good game to watch. Uh, G League Ignite is going in the right direction. I love this team. They don't have probably a number one option, but they got a whole bunch of solid two, two three, four options. You know, they got a lot of options. Uh, and then they got some good vets. So, man, that's just my thoughts on G League Ignite, man. Uh, but, yeah, man, this is your boy Diddy Knows Ball. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.